Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about cognitive processes. Under cognitive processes, theories of learning. Under theory of learning, again trial and error theory of learning, we are going to discuss in this video. So this is taken from Unit 3, Part 3D video. This video is useful for BSc nursing students, post basic BSc nursing students, as well as students who are studying general psychology and be it before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates Let's see the contents what we are going to discuss in this theory of learning. Under theory of learning, we have five theories of learning and today we are going to discuss about trial and error theory of learning. Let's see what are all the five theories of learning. Trial and error learning, learning by conditioning, theory of operant conditioning, theory of insightful learning, cognitive theory of learning, trial and error learning, learning by conditioning, theory of operant conditioning, theory of insightful learning, cognitive theory of learning. So these are the five theories of learning. Let's see the first theory of learning that is trial and error theory of learning. This theory was propagated by Edward Lee Thorndike. According to Thorndike, learning is by means of trial and error. That is, learning takes place by means of making bonds or connection between a stimuli and a response. So, what he tells means learning takes place or learning consists of making connections or bonds between a stimuli and a response. These bonds are made where? Yes. These bonds are made in the nervous system. What, what bond? Ma? The bond between stimulus and response. According to Thorndike, learning is through what? Trial and error. So, this is the picture of Edward Lee Thorndike. Thorndike experiment. So what he has done means he has placed a hungry cat in a box. So there was only one door for exit that is for coming outside there was only one door which could be opened by correctly manipulating the latch for example even we are having a uh, lock a bunch of keys is there means only the correct key can make it open so like that here there is only one door and the cat has to uh, manipulate the lodge if it is correctly manipulating the lodge only the door will be opening otherwise it will not be open okay to make the cat to get motivated to come outside because already the cat is hungry a fish is placed outside so cat likes fish normally and even a hungry cat now will be very eager to come outside and to come and take that fish so it was placed outside the box so this is a strong motive for the cat to come out of the box so what the cat will do first i will show the box see here see this is the box the cat is placed inside only one door is there to come outside and this is the lodge if the cat is operating this lodge correctly only the door will be getting opened otherwise the door will not be opened so in order to have motivation for the cat what is placed outside yes fish is placed outside so consequently what happens the cat want to come out and it want to eat the fish because already it is hungry. So the cat what it is doing it is making a, making a number of random movements such as biting, clawing and scrambling around as it is struggled to come out of the box. So it is doing a number of attempts to come out of the box box like biting, clawing, scrambling, uh, moving uh, to and fro, whatever it can do, it is doing to come out of the box. So while it was doing one such random uh, moment, 
by chance okay by chance by trial and error by chance the lodge get opened okay the lodge get opened the lodge get manipulated and the door gets opened so it got its reward once it come outside it got a reward that is the fish so it happily ate the fish okay so this is for the first time it made a number of attempts and what it is doing finally during these attempts by chance okay by trial so it made the door to open and it come outside and it get a reward that is it has got a fish then what again if it you are going to repeat the same experiment if you are going to put again the cat and if you are going to keep your fish outside so the such incurrent responses will be decreased okay such incurrent response will be decreased so again no the, the cat will be learning slowly it will be learning what is the correct procedure to open the lodge okay take a small example a lock is there in your home a bunch of keys is there so first time what you will be doing you will be trying different keys and you will be opening it okay so next time also you may forget the first time which key you have opened then again you will be uh, doing and again you have some uh, idea in your mind based on the color of the key based on the shape of the key you will try and you will do and finally if the process is going to continue on the third or fourth day you will know which key will be suiting for the lock and without any trial or error method directly you will be opening the lock the same way happens here also so first day it made a number of attempts second day also a few attempts will be there like biting clawing so gradually it will be diminishing third day again it diminished to some extent fourth day like that at one particular stage the cat immediately when it is put inside immediately it knows how to operate the lodge and how to manipulate it in order to get the door opened so this learning is by means of what repeated trials and errors so this learning is called as what trial and error of learning so from the above experiment thorndike has given the following components or elements in learning so from the above experiment thorndike has given what the components or elements involved in the process of learning so what is the first thing a strong drive should be there so for the cat see nothing is placed outside means the cat will not be motivated the cat will be lying in the box itself there is a strong driver that fish is outside we have to come outside and we have to take that fish okay so that is a strong drive next is what goal a goal or aim should be there then barrier or block which the individual which prevent the individual reaching the goal so here for the cat also the door is the barrier to reach its goal so a barrier or block if it is there then it will overcome it will learn to overcome that barrier in order to reach its goal then random attempts to overcome the barriers so uh, uh, the cat knows that a door is a blocking uh, barrier so it made so many trials so many errors uh, then so many attempts to clear that block and to open the door so random attempts to overcome the barriers then chance of success is there so one first time there is a chance of success so it has made it and it has opened it so it knows next time if it is put outside also somehow if you are manipulating it definitely the door will be open so there is a chance of success is there then selection of the correct response so slowly it knows how to manipulate the latch so by learning by repeated uh, trial and error it knows on one fine day without any further trials and errors directly it will be opening the latch so fixation of the correct response in the neuromuscular system of the individual i told no um, lock and key uh, example also so initially you will be trying trying and finally one fine day you know which color which shape which name will be fitting directly to the key so that in your mind it is registered in your neuromuscular system the correct response is registered for the, the connection the bonding is registered so that is fixation of the correct response in the neuromuscular system of the individual so major theoretical principles which form the basis of thorndike theory of learning are learning in was trial and error of stimuli and response that is trial and error or selection or connection 
learning is the result of the formation of connections or bonds learning is improvement in performance not insightful so by means of trial and error your performance is going to get increased so first day the cat has tried so many attempts so first day think that the cat has tried 30 attempts for example second day only 25 attempts the third day only 15 attempts fourth day only 10 attempts the fifth day only seven attempts the sixth day only three attempts the seventh day it opened by its own like that the it improves the performance of the individual so learning is direct not mediated by ideas by directly you can learn it is not mediated by your ideas so learning is in inverse trial and error method of learning learning is the result of formation of connections learning is improvement in performance not insightful learning is direct not mediated by ideas based on his theory Thorndike put forward the following loss of readiness, loss of learning. So, what are all the various loss of learning? Is law of readiness, law of effect, law of exercise or practice, law of multiple response, law of attitude, law of analogy, law of associative shifting. So, what are all the various laws Thorndike has put forward? Is law of readiness, law of effect or satisfaction or dissatisfaction. Law of exercise, law of multiple responses or varied responses, law of attitude, law of analogy, law of associative shifting. As I used to always tell you, keep it in by means of an acronym so that uh, it will be staying in your mind forever. So the acronym is Ra Mi Ra Mi Ra Mi. Okay, Ra R A three M E two. R is for readiness. Okay, A is for attitude, analogy, associative shifting. So under A you have three. That's why I have put three. So R is for readiness. A is for attitude, analogy, and associative shifting. What is me? Me is for multiple responses or varied responses. E is for effect of satisfaction or dissatisfaction. E is for exercise or practice. Okay. So in this way you can keep in mind. So educational implications of Thorndike theory. So according to the Thorndike, when a child is ready to learn, he learns more quickly and effectively. So if the child is ready, not only child, everyone know if we are ready to learn, the learning takes place very quickly. So he wants that the child should not be forced to learn when he is not ready and also not to miss any opportunity of providing the right learning experiences when the child is prepared to learn so the task of the teacher is what to motivate the students to arouse their attention interest and curiosity so what is the teacher's main role you have to make the students to be ready to learn okay so that you are arousing the attention interest and curiosity of the students so that they will be learning effectively so this is called as what law of readiness Next is the teacher must strengthen the bonds of connection between stimuli and response through repetition, drill and practice. Otherwise, the bonds will be getting weakened through disuse and learning fails to occur. So, this is law of practice. Suppose if the teacher is teaching you how to check a BP, then the teacher has to demonstrate it. Then the teacher has to ask you to do written demonstration. And after that only once if you are checking BP for first year fully whether it will be in your mind. So daily in ward she has to make the students to do it as a routine practice. So that the student will become more skillful in doing that procedure. So this is what law of practice. Next the child must be provided with learning experiences which gives him a sense of satisfaction. The child must be suitably rewarded as relevant to make learning effective see you have thought it but uh, you should take the student to the hospital to practice what to practice the procedures so once the successful learning experiences theory as well as practical learning experiences to be provided so that the st student will have a sense of satisfaction in doing the uh, procedure or in learning then also whenever the uh, student or the child has uh, done it correctly yeah appreciation a word of appreciation 
okay or a token of incentive should be provided to the child in order to make the learning effective so how much ever the student is doing nicely also ah you have not done nicely you have not done nicely if we are telling the student will be getting what irritated so they, she will not uh, follow it so if you are appreciating this ah, very good ma you have done a good job like that if you are appreciating it is going to strengthen the connection of learning so this is law of effect so the learner should try to see the similarity similarities means the same thing and dissimilarities means differences so between the different kinds of responses to stimuli and by comparison and contrast they try to apply the learning from one situation to other similar situations so now the corona it's a pandemic you have got it so how the doctors have uh, treated it so they have treated it by means of what by means of giving various they have tried various uh, experiments this uh, method of uh, treatment uh, so whether we can do this whether we can give corticosteroids antibiotics so like that uh, this is also a trial and method of learning so how have they have uh, gained this experience based on previous experiences so they have uh, initially they have treated uh, SARS severe acute respiratory distress syndrome so this is also one type of severe acute respiratory distress syndrome so based on that uh, that uh, knowledge they have applied here so the learner should be encouraged to perform his task independently independency is very very important so initially the person can learn be dependent but slowly the person should be independent see after completing your bsc nursing no one is there go to supervise you so you have to follow independently in your ward that time madam will not come and if you are in a ward system madam will not come and supervise you so you are independent so like that the learner should be encouraged to perform the task independently he must try various solutions to the problem before arriving to a correct solution so in general thrombic theories of on loss of learning contributed towards learning purposeful so learning should be purposeful learning should be goal oriented and the rewards should be given uh, in the process of learning hope this video is clear for you all if you like my video please give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in the description box suggested end card or i card thanks for watching keep supporting to science easy tech channel in my future videos i'll be discussing the other theories of learning thank you friends